Hi, my name is Scott Morrison. I wanted to take a moment to uh, give you a little tip on getting the joint between the rockers and the front and rear legs down to absolutely nothing. Now by this point you should have gone ahead and gotten that gap as close as possible using various tools such as grinders, uh, rasps, and so on using the methods I described in my video. However, to get that gap to be absolutely zero, which is ideally what you want, I'm going to show you a little trick. Now what you're going to need is some sandpaper. Now I have here some, oh it looks to be maybe a 40 or 60 grit sandpaper, fairly aggressive, but more importantly than, uh, more important than the grit is you need something with a, a very durable backing. Now this sandpaper I have is a little strip that I cut off of a belt sander uh, that was just basically not needed anymore on the belt sander. So I cut off, oh it looks to be maybe an 8 or 10 inch strip. And this is what I use to fine tune that joint. Let's go ahead and take a look a little bit closer and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, as you can see, I have my leg right here, and I have the rocker. Now there is a gap between these two. They haven't been fit uh, perfectly just yet. Now very simply, I take my piece of sandpaper with the grit side facing up, place it between the leg and the rocker, and then I draw the sandpaper through the joint. Now you have to be careful when you're drawing it, don't pull up on the sandpaper. In other words, don't pull this way because you'll round over that leg. What you want to do is either pull straight out or possibly even on a downward stroke, such as this. Now, just drawing it through the two is not really going to provide enough friction to, to actually do any good. So I, I provide, I, I push down a little bit on the leg as I'm drawing it through. Now you might find it's a little clumsy because the leg wants to move but you kind of get used to that. Uh, you may have to also clamp this to your work, clamp the rockers to your work surface, as I've done back here. You may want to put another clamp to prevent it from moving. But basically, that's the whole procedure. You want to draw this through and close that gap up. Now, it may take you know, several dozen strokes to get that done, but eventually that gap does close enough to where when you remove it, you'll see there's absolutely no gap whatsoever between those two. And that's ideally what you want. Then you'll be able to cl clamp and glue the two together and the, the rocker will not creak from that point forward.